Hey guys, Brett here for Topo Ranger. Welcome to another adventure. We're walking through a dry stream bed here. So that should give you some clue as to what we're, maybe what we're doing today. That's limestone. Before we get started, make sure you hit subscribe, ring that bell for notifications and follow me on Facebook, all right? All right, let's get started. And here's a trail. Check these out. Now, I've never seen this type before. Something going on over there. Look, look, look. Time to take a temperature. Survey says 54. That's cold. Nice little piece of tile there, huh? Pretty colorful. So there seems to be some type of hangout, um, bamboo forest hangout right back there. I'm by a big creek here in uh, South Central Pennsylvania. I hear some trains. And this is one feature that I did know about, but I've never positively ID'd you know, visually. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And there's a cave right there. We're just a little farther upstream than we were, maybe 500 feet than we were last time I checked in at the bamboo forest. I see some more bamboo over there. So we're walking along here. This, the cliff, uh, the, the, the creek side is getting kind of steep, which is good that's what I want um, that's what I'm heading for and it is a really a really nice day it might rain today but right now it looks pretty nice and I spotted something of interest there across the river right there it looks to be or I would say probably a ruins of a bridge pier let's zoom in so there we go I'm thinking that definitely looks like a bridge pier or something to do with the railroad. It climbs probably about 15 feet off of the uh, off of the creek there. Seems to be missing a block right there. Overall though, it looks like it's in pretty good condition, I'd say. Now here's something coming. I don't know if that's on the train tracks or where. What the heck is going on here? So I don't, I didn't know this thing was coming. This is not pre-planned or anything. This is a, uh, a tourist railroad that runs along the bank here. There's the engine. see quite a few people in there and there's a conductor wow that's interesting I think it stops right up there and then goes backwards or maybe it does it it might continue on 
All right, let's uh, let's continue on. Getting a little junky down here. This looks like back in the day, and by that I mean maybe 30s, 40s. This used to be a a dumping spot. Got a lawnmower right there. Tires. Maybe we'll find some bottles. Oh, hey, yeah, there we go. Uh, here's a nice one, but it's busted. Here's one here. Yeah, busted. I really got to get my gloves on. I don't know if there's anything unbroken in this pile. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, wait, what's that? I do see it. Let's see what this is here. We got, oh, that's too bad. There's one here. Oh, that's different. I don't have one like that. That's too bad. All right, guys. Well, we're here along the bank here. I came here to look at rocks, but there's this gigantic dump here with tons of old bottles and stuff. There's a lawnmower. That's an old lawnmower. I mean, there's lots of stuff here. It's just all shattered. Um, maybe we'll find a couple of little pieces that are not broken on the way back. All right. All right, let's continue on here. There's even more stuff up here. Wow. If you haven't guessed it already, I'm here scouting caves. There's a cave along the creek here that I went to a while ago. Um, not a big cave, but a very interesting cave. And I'm trying to find the entrance to see if it's you know still accessible. There's been a lot of development around here lately. Um, this is not it. This is just a little crack. But I'm going to have to get out my flashlight. Goes back in there. And mainly a groundhog hole, though. Or it could have been caused by the huge chunk of the cliff peeling away. All right, we got a car seat. An old stove maybe some construction material an old tire maybe an old headlight wow a lot of stuff here all right looks like we got to go down here all right I made it down to the water level it's interesting here the bedrock the limestone bedrock goes right in to the uh, right into the creek there, and because it's kind of flat, it's really easy to see the the dip and the strike. If you watched any of my videos, you might have heard me refer to dip and strike uh, when I'm looking at rocks or bedrocks and stuff like that, and. Um, if you're not a geologist or you're not into geology, you might not know what that is. Uh, but I, but right here at the bottom of that cliff there, I just came down. It's it's a really good place to, I guess, just kind of explain it. And that's, see these beds here? These beds are really, this is a really flat, right? So this, this might be a bedding plane, which is just a separation in between two beds. And you can see what happened here is that you have uh, like a, thick bed here and a thick bed here and then right there there's a bed in between that that is thinner and more thinly bedded can you see this one see that this is gonna erode faster and we're right next to the creek here the creek's probably I wouldn't say it's high but it's not low it's probably medium right now maybe a little high so you can just imagine the water coming in here every time there's Every time the water gets higher than that, which is pretty probably pretty often, it just um, scours this uh, this bed out. While this bed and this bed probably, you know, are dissolving in a chemical sense, but they're not being broken up by physical weathering uh, nearly as fast. Which is why you get this little divot here. But that little that little notch there really exposes this this bed right here. So in this case pour water on this flat surface here 
where would the water flow? If the water would flow, it would flow that way, right? So whichever way the water is going to flow is going to be your dip. And then perpendicular to the dip is the strike. So it would be like this. So I guess here you'd say it's dipping that way and it's striking that way. And those are just uh, measurements that geologists use to, as they go around, they do like their field mapping and they're looking at uh, outcrops and whatnot. And they take those measurements and then over time, you know, they build up all those measurements in a, in a specific area, then they can begin to get an idea of the structural, like how the rock is folded, if it is folded, if, you know, the rocks are really compressed and twisted and faulted, or if they're just flat. It's just an interesting little thing that you can do when you're out and you happen to see rocks. <laughs> all right, let's continue on. Here's something for all you bottle people out there. Oh, it's too bad it's busted, but look at this one. It says, um, Acme Bottling Works Palmyra PA. Oh, wow. I wonder, look how thick that glass is. I mean, look how thick it is. It's got to be from like at least mid-century. Palmyra. Acme Bottling Works. The best in Pennsylvania. Maybe I could find a, uh, an unshattered one. So I'm gonna have to come back here, I think, and do a full, a full on just straight up dump episode because, I mean, there is just too much stuff here and I'm walking, I'm trying to look at the rocks and I keep getting distracted by all the, the stuff that's just laying on the, on the floor. You see this, you can see the outcrops up top there. See how this, get the steep slope going right down to the creek? It's just covered, it's just mantled with, uh, old dump stuff um i mean just right here just in the space of like 10 feet i found this which looks like an old it's like, excuse me as i fall into the creek looks like an old piece of a wrought iron fence this which i pulled out of that little debris puff oh you got some angry geese. Everywhere I go, I make them angry. Sorry, guys. This, which I pulled out of that debris pile, um, which to me looks like the bottom to an old fertilizer, like lawn fertilizer. How cool is that? And then I found this. I have two of the uh, uh, Vicks Vapo Rub which I had from like, I guess the forties or the fifties. That's probably when this is too, maybe, but I don't have one shaped exactly like this. And this is a, this is a Noxema, which is a cold, like a skin cream. So this is not a Vic. So I'm going to get that crap out of there and keep this one, put my pennies in it or something. <laughs> All right. I got to get focused back on the rocks. All right. So we've come to a, a large retaining wall and at the foot of that retaining wall, is a remnant of the pre-development days. It doesn't look really old, but it uh, it looks old enough because it just goes to nowhere. It goes right into that wall. Let's go down here and take a peek. Oh, some type of bird underneath here. All right, so we come to here and no dice. This has been washed out. So, you know the water gets at least, at least up to here, the level of that stick right there. Uh, I kind of think we're getting close, guys. So just stick with me here. I'm hoping that the rain holds out. Um, let's go through here. So those noisy geese are now heading downstream. So where are we? Well, uh, I came down to the creek level and there is a path here. I'm seeing mostly deer and, and probably blue heron tracks. Now, if it was, you know, peak summer, we probably would have seen uh, a nice amount of tubers and kayakers go by already because this is prime tubing, prime kayaking creek here. 
and the outcrop pretty much goes vertical right here. Now I'm thinking back to when I was here uh, and there was a certain aspect about the, the rocks at the entrance and it was kind of a unique entrance. I, I thought it was kind of an interesting entrance, but it had this, uh, had kind of like a triangular shape to it with the entrance right in the middle of the triangle. And it's, I know it's right around here somewhere. I mean, I'm within 300 feet of it, probably three, 400 feet of it, if it's farther that way. But I'm looking right up here. And right up there. I don't know if you can make it out, but there is a little recessed area right up there. And I can see the rock going like this and like that. And it's forming a triangle. So I'm gonna, I gotta climb up there and check it out because I think that might be one. There's actually two caves along this stretch. I don't know where the other one is. Uh, the one I'm looking for is the one that is the, the more interesting of the two. So I'm gonna have to uh, ascend. Check that thing out. Let's see what let's see if it's there. I'll be happy if it is, alright? I'll pick it up once I get up there. Alright, first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of this, which looks like the looks like a cat, maybe a cat skull. Let's put it smooth off to the side here. Like that. All right, there's the cave. I am about 45, 50 feet off the river. Sorry, off the creek. So I'm gonna sit down here. And here comes some kayakers. See them down there? There's a red, and then there's another one in the purple. Here come two more guys. See them right here, there's one there and one there. How's the water? No, I think that's uh, farther up by around the bend here. Is that triangle? It has a triangular entrance. I don't know if it's called if that's the name of it. Oh my gosh, when we were in high school, we used to come here all the time and go in there. Yeah, there used to be an old neighborhood here that's gone now. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been in there today? No, not today, not by myself. I bet I was in there like ten years ago. I was trying to refind it. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, you too. As you can see by that conversation with those two kayaker dudes, he's been in here. Now he called it Triangle Cave because of the entrance, because of the shape. And that's really what gives it away. Now this is going to give, if you're claustrophobic, this is probably not the cave uh, for you, at least initially. As you can see there, it's essentially just a, a small belly crawl. It's a nice, nice, Nice amount of air coming out of it though. Essentially just a small belly crawl through that hole right there. And that's the first part. And it does get pretty low, it does get pretty tight, but it's not, it's not, you know, extreme or anything like that. I don't think it's, uh, if you're claustrophobic it is, but you know, as you guys know from previous episodes, I don't like scat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little house cleaning here. Because, I bet you <laughs> there's probably some you know what down there. There we go. Nice clean floor. Leaves do get in there. Alright, so I've cleared a little space here. I can crawl back, get you a better shot. This is why I wear coveralls when I go caving. That's the entrance right there. Well, this is the entrance, but. All right, I was still zoomed in. Let's try it this way. So you basically crawl down there. It doesn't go very far, then it hits left. And then you, uh, it gets a little bit bigger. There's a piece of scat right there. Ugh. It's a creepy looking entrance. I see some more bones there maybe. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here for this episode, guys. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. 
Uh, if you did have a good time, make sure you hit subscribe, ring that bell and for notifications. And also follow me on Facebook. Every time I put out a new video, I, I post it up there. So it's just another way to connect. Um, we found it. It's about where I remember it. I'm not quite. If I hadn't have looked up at that one specific moment when I was walking along the bank there, if I hadn't have looked up and seen that at the top of this triangular entrance, I would have went right past it, and I, I'd probably be scrambling around those cliffs for another, you know, another couple of hours. So uh, uh, I'm glad I looked up when I did. We're going to come back here. I, I think it'll be a future episode. There are there are some there are uh, the the development of the cave, the way the cave uh, formed in relationship to the structure, which kind of ties back to the dip and the strike thing. So I guess maybe I'm glad that I did that earlier um, because this cave, the, the way it was formed, um, the shape and the angle and the direction of the passages uh, as you go through it is controlled by the dip and the strike and the structure and everything. The entrance passage is triangular because it's the ceiling is following the dip and the direction is following the strike. So strike, dip. And I also wanted to show you guys, I found two other bottles. I found that one, Noxema. I found this one, which is from 1960. It's got kind of a cool shape. It looks to me, I mean, based upon that, to be some kind of sauce, maybe some kind of like hot sauce maybe, because it has that kind of nozzle, or it's not nozzle, but got a very small hole the way a hot sauce bottle would so I just like that and this one here this one's actually pretty cool it's a uh, it's got a cool shape it's probably probably from that same period 40s 50s maybe late 50s I'll clean these up when I get home um, but yeah it's got that cool shape and then on the side it says pertussin in that raised, in the raised, uh, the raised letters there. And like I said, I think this is probably from the, maybe the forties or the fifties. seems like a lot of the dumps I come across while, while looking at rocks are from that period. So, but I like it. And it seems like usually it's these smaller ones like this, which you can actually find that are still, uh, this one in particular seems, feels like it's pretty thick, it's pretty heavy. So one maybe the reason why this survived. This one's pretty thick too, but they're not too big. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of bigger things over there that were just completely smashed. So like I said, I just I didn't even have to dig for these. So I like these I like the 40s and 50s bottles. I think they're cool, and that's mainly what my you know, the, the ones I do have are mainly made up of that 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 era or that time. Alright, anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling on. Like I said, if you had a good time, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. And we're gonna come back here in a future episode and we're gonna crawl down that long little hole there. <laughs> As always, love having you guys along. This is Brett for Topo Ranger. See you next time.